Hello viewers, uh, today's video is about this box, uh, what's inside and why there is a big clown on a sticker. Before we take a look uh, at the electronics, I will introduce you Big Clown Company a little bit. Uh, so, uh, Big Clown uh, is a spin-off of uh, another electronics, uh, another Czech electronics company, Ablotron Group, which has big portfolio of alarms and home systems, I think. And uh, this uh, spin-off is uh, going to make a safe and a secure open source electronics for your do-it-yourself automatization project. They are aiming uh, for a secure connection, so they are using uh, different encryption and uh, special hardware in the processors. And this is uh, their infrastructure. So the most interesting hardware part is uh, of course here, but uh, in the box uh, there's an alpha kit uh, which uh, right now uh, doesn't have any wireless capability. Uh, this uh, wireless part uh, is right now uh, used by I2C and uh, this uh, software part is uh, practically working. Uh, you can use your phone, uh, you can uh, exchange uh, MQTT uh, messages and it's working. And on the other side, uh, in your house, uh, you will have uh, some uh, server, uh, which can be your PC, uh, your Raspberry Pi, or uh, this uh, Rotor Tourist, uh, which is an, another open source project uh, by a Czech company, uh, CZ Nick. And uh, to this computer you will connect your gateway, which is uh, something which will communicate uh, by wireless uh, with your node. And as I said, uh, right now uh, this company is fairly new. Uh, this company was founded just uh, six months ago and uh, what they created is uh, amazing in this short time. So right now in the alpha kit uh, in this box, uh, isn't uh, the wireless capability right now, but uh, it will be possible to upgrade your sensors with uh, wireless capability later. So I will focus and take a look uh, at this uh, most interesting part with a lot of sensors and hardware in it. This uh, module is a gateway. Uh, this is just a temporary gateway. Later it will be replaced uh, by a, a board, uh, USB board with a processor and with a wireless part. Uh, right now this gateway is using a chip from FTDI, FT260, uh, which is a USB HID uh, converter. Uh, is converting USB to I2C and UART. And this board also contains uh, I2C expander, uh, which basically expands uh, one I2C bus to two buses. This module uh, can be connected uh, to the Big Clown uh, hub, uh, which uh, is uh, capable of running on your Raspberry Pi 3 or Raspberry Pi 2. Uh, it is distributed uh, by a Docker uh, the container systems and it's working very well. So if you would like to control something with your gateway, uh, you will use these expansion headers. So uh, this is another module. It's a relay module. Uh, it's uh, clever designed because uh, it's using a bistable relay, uh, which needs uh, polarization in one direction to make a contact and uh, then another polarization to break the contact. And uh, you can stack these modules uh, on top of each other, like this, and you are asking why these modules are not fitting together and you see there is one pin missing, hmm, so is this because I put it in a wrong way? Yes, I did. Look at, it, at this awesome plastic key and because of that pin I cannot put this module in reverse. It's a quite a clever 
solution because uh, another modules have decided uh, to use another another solution. I'm oh, sorry, Arduino's raining today. It's also t possible to connect them from the other side. Then this kit uh, comes with a variety of sensors. Here they are. You have barometer, humidity sensor, temperature sensor, and lux meter. There are also uh, another two sensors, uh, which I don't have yet. You can see that every sensor has its uh, power input, uh, serial clock, serial data, and interrupt pin, which is great. And all these sensors are connecting uh, to the gateway board by this tag module. And you basically put uh, one sensor in one connector. I was called talking that uh, this chip uh, it's uh, I squared C expander and it's uh, expanding one bus to two buses so here you can see maybe you can see is uh, I squared C1 and here is I squared C0 so this is handy uh, for example when you use two sensors and they have the same address uh, you can use uh, another bus and also, if you would like to readdress uh, some of the sensors, there are these unpopulated footprints and you put uh, resistors on some positions and you change the address of the chips. Okay, and this is how it looks, put it together. And this is a close-up uh, of a bridge module, a uh, nicely manufactured board uh, with a reflow, which looks awesome. I'd like to mention a few decisions uh, which are on this board and which I like. Uh, one of them is uh, that they are using USB connector which uh, is going through the board, like that. So it's very hard to broke this connector. Then let's uh, take a look at this uh, key. I never actually saw this yet, so, so I was curious uh, what this part is doing and it seems like it's a normal plastic part which you can, I guess, order. And I also like uh, one more detail, uh, which is uh, the rounded corners. This is a close-up of the relay module. Uh, because uh, the module, the relay is bistable, then uh, you have to uh, turn on the relay with a one polarity and turn off with opposite polarity. And that's why here are here is uh, the full bridge, which is controlled again uh, by I squared C uh, with uh, this input and output uh, pin expander. Uh, there's a nice uh, detail on this board uh, because this chip uh, will turn on any pin uh, you would like so if you put a wrong combination uh, on the FETs on the, and on the P and N FET at the same time you can uh, destroy your bridge but not this board. Uh, this board uh, is cleverly designed and it has uh, some resistors uh, which are limiting the current. So very nice solution here. This is the detail of the tag module. Uh, I like that all the signals are very nicely laid out on a seal screen. I also like uh, that they are using this uh, SMD uh, pin headers. These and these. Because I always uh, wanted to use them in some of my project, but uh, I actually never use them. So. I don't know why, but they are looking looking awesome with this alternating pattern. And let's go to the sensors. So we will start with a 
temperature sensor. Uh, this is a TMP112 uh, bit uh, digital temperature sensor from Texas Instruments. I uh, used this sensor in one of my projects, so uh, I think uh, they choose the appropriate chip. Uh, and uh, as I was uh, mentioning uh, these unpopulated pets, uh, you can uh, you can change one resistor and change uh, address of this uh, temperature chip. So you can use two of them on the same bus. And another sensor is a humidity tag. This sensor uh, was made uh, by ST and it's a capacitive digital sensor and it can measure humidity from 0 to 100 uh, percent based on uh, capacitance measurement and also if we take a look at the data sheet it can measure also the temperature and it has 16-bit uh, ADC in it and you can see the transistor over here which is basically inverting the interrupt signal this transistor has uh, embedded resistors on the base so you don't have to use external one. I like this transistor. And here's the barometer duct uh, with the uh, MPL3115 uh, I squared C pressure sensor. This sensor can return uh, absolute uh, pressure or it can measure altitude uh, so you don't have to do uh, different computation on your MCU. You just read uh, altitude uh, with a precision up to 0.1 meter from this sensor and again uh, this sensor has also temperature sensor in it so also you can use this sensor to measure the temperature the reason that uh, this, uh, this sensor and uh, the humidity sensor has also temperature sensor is because uh, of some compensation and the last from the sensors I have is lux meter tag this, was, uh, th this tag uh, is using uh, OPT 3001 uh, ambient light sensor basically you get uh, amount of light uh, from uh, 0 0.01 lux up to 83000 lux uh, which is effectively 23 bit uh, dynamic range and the special thing of this sensor is that it rejects infrared and it's uh, basically measuring uh, what a human eye can see so this is the end of the part one. Uh, in the next part I will show you how to connect uh, these big clown modules uh, to your Raspberry Pi and how to use the software. Uh, right now you can uh, take a look on bigclown.com. Uh, you can watch them on Twitter and, and other social media. And if you like uh, to get one of these kits, uh, you can write to them. Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you like these videos and see you next time. Oh, I'm almost forgot one thing. And that thing is this clown nose, which you can also get. And it comes with a nice manual which I will show to you final subtitles see you next time